Question 1. Work out 1.83 multiplied by 47. Lots of different ways to do this. Treat it as a whole number, however, and use whichever multiplication method you're most comfortable with. For me, that would be the grid method. So if I treat this as 183, that would mean I'm going to do 183 multiplied by 40 and 7 quickly using a pencil and a ruler to complete the grid. can now multiply out each of the elements, so 4 times 1 is 4, adding on the three zeros. 8 times 4 is 32, adding on the two zeros. 3 times 4 is 12, 1 zero on the end. 1 times 7 is 7 with two zeros. 8 times 7 is 56 with a zero. 3 times 7 is 21. So now that's all multiplied out, we can just add these values together to find out what the multiplication actually equals. I would do this using column addition. While you can possibly do this in your head, it's always a good idea to write it down to make sure that you don't miss anything out and are clearly demonstrating the method that you have used. Most marks in this exam paper will come from methods. So the final column, it's got 1, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so that's 0 and carry a 1. 1, 2, 9, 14, 15, 16, so that's 6, carry the 1 across. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8,601. Now the question didn't ask for 183, it asked for 1.83, which means that we need to move the decimal point back, divide our answer by 100 to give a final answer of 86.01.